How much of a pain in the is changing the plates, really? Ah, oh, fuck sakes. Hey guys, Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary. I know a lot of people have been looking into the Iron Master with dumbbells since the pandemic hit. I know they're hard to get. I know everything's hard to get. The biggest question that I see all the time and that I get asked is, are they good for drop sets? And people are really concerned about the time and effort it takes to change the plates. Yes, it does take longer than power blocks or bull flex, but I did go over why I still prefer the Iron Masters in my full review that I'll post right up here. So you can check that out after. I wanted to demonstrate how they work. So I recorded myself doing, uh, I think it was 11 sets of drop sets. I never do drop sets, just so you know. Anyway, let's get into the video and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. I'm starting off with uh, 55 pounds on each dumbbell. So I set those up and the goal was just to do 10 sets of six and dropping five pounds in between each set. Just so it wouldn't take too long, but you would be able to see how long it takes to switch. Here I am dropping the first five pounds, which is just the two and a half pound plates on each side. Now with the quick lock pins, it's fairly quick. And as I've said before in my review video, I don't use the stand except for the first setup. After that, I do all my setup on the ground because it's just faster. I push these for garage gyms, home gyms, not for a commercial gym. Commercial gym, you wouldn't be throwing plates all over the place, but if it's your garage gym or home gym, who cares, right? It's your gym. So there, I just finished 50 pounds. So here's the longest part that it would actually take you to change uh, the plates because you gotta, you gotta take a five pound off of each side off and put back the two and a half pound plate but it, it's still not that, it doesn't take all that long, really. We're already on the second one. And I mean, if if the only reason you're not buying them is because you're, all your workouts you do drop sets, and for you, you have to immediately jump from weight to weight, then yeah, sure, don't buy the Iron Masters. But that wasn't that long. I'll time the next plate change so we can see. There I am with what did I do? 55, 50, that should be 45. There, put that down. Okay, so 22 seconds. Here we go, drop it down to, to 40 here. So I'm gonna, the only time, I'm gonna edit this video down so it's faster. Okay, that was 22, that was 18 seconds. So, I mean, 18 seconds rest in between drop sets, that's not too bad, right? It doesn't really bother me. But like I've been saying, that is the biggest complaint that I hear is that they're horrible for drop sets and it's too much work changing plates in between sets. Well, within 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you 10 different uh, plate changes. And I mean, I usually don't do that many in a workout because I'll be using uh, barbells and then dumbbells. This is just strictly to show you guys, it's not that bad. It's pretty quick. So what am I at now? I'm at... I don't know. I think I'm at 35 right now, 35 pounds. I still have some really bad tennis elbow, so I didn't go too heavy because I wanted to go still make it part of my workout today and I wanted to go through a large range of motion. Looking back, having done it, I could have probably started at more than 55 pounds, but I haven't lifted heavy uh, for a while since I hurt my elbow. It was a little hard at the beginning, but as the weight dropped so fast, it, it was getting pretty easy at the end. So maybe, maybe I should have just did uh, sets of 10. I think a couple times I do seven or eight without, I just kind of keep going, so. Ah, oh, sakes. Screw it up. I made this mistake here. It's, it's the same as any workout really. I mean, I'm sure you've loaded the wrong amounts on one side of a barbell and you go to bench and you kind of go sideways. That's happened to, to most of us who've been training for a while. But I didn't want to reshoot because number one, I didn't want to redo it. And well, number two, I just wanted to show you guys this is like real world setting kind of, you know, that's, I made a mistake, but it still didn't take all that long to recover from it. So I'm still getting a pretty good drop set workout, I think, I don't know. 
uh, for those of you that do drop sets, let me know what you think. I want to know, like, is this is this bad? Is this too long? Like 18 to 20 seconds between between sets? Is that? I know you're supposed to kind of jump immediately into it, you know, would this really deter you from buying these dumbbells? That 20 second change? Like I have other dumbbells too. If I am doing something where I'm dropping the weight, I have randomly, you know, I have like a set of 25s, I have a set of 15s. You're not always jumping straight to the Iron Masters and changing the plates. If you have a home gym, you're not just going to have your Iron Masters. You know, you can figure something out. It's your home gym. You tailor your workouts to the equipment that you have. To me, this is not a deal breaker. I'm the second owner or third owner on these uh, Iron Masters. I've repainted them twice and I could have painted them again this year, but it, it, it doesn't matter. They're just, they're, they're tough as nails. I'll be able to pass them on to my children and they'll be able to, to work out with them forever. And you saw how I just kind of throw the plates around. Sometimes I just drop the dumbbell. It doesn't matter. They're the toughest dumbbells that you can get. Like they just don't break. And I have the expandable set that goes up to 120. <clears throat> 120 pounds per dumbbell. I'll probably never bench 120 per dumbbell, but I have it. I can use it for farmer's walks. Uh, I use it for, you know, uh, squats, deadlifts, stuff like that with dumbbells, Romanian deadlifts. Such a great quality. And I painted the lettering to the paint marker just so that it would uh, stand out a little bit. One thing I might do uh, after this exercise of trying to go as fast as I can, like while I'm throwing the plates down, as you can see now, there's a lot of plates left on the ground, is I might paint the two and a halfs a different color. I might paint the whole thing white, that way front and back, that way you see them really quick, might help. Okay, at this point in the video, uh, there's no more plates left on the dumbbells, there's just the handles left. The handles with both sides is 10 pounds. Once you rip those, uh, those off, like I'm doing there, and then you're left with five pounds. So that's it, that's been, how long has it been? Hasn't even been 10 minutes. And that's it, I'm done. And I say there, uh, that's less than 10 minutes. That included the setup time to set them up to 55 pounds to start with. So guys, I hope this answers the most asked question about Iron Master dumbbells. How much of a pain in the is changing the plates, really? I really don't feel it's that bad. Let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think, what everybody else thinks. Did I make it look easy? Did I make it look hard? Is it Does it look like too much of a hassle? Uh, let me know if this swayed your decision one way or the other. Every Friday I release a new video that's related to Garage Gym content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon that way you don't miss a video. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.